Hey guys, it's Tracy Bear here in the Young Hollywood studio with Lily Reinhardt, and you look amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. We were talking about her outfit. Just one more time. These pants. You just have to get a full look at these awesome orange. I don't know. Pants. Should I stand? Yeah, like do model, it. Do model it. Model my <laughs> little pants is going on here. Get some pockets. I feel like it's very Archie like, actually. It's yeah, kind of representing, the, the, representing. The, <laughs> the, the orange and the red. Um, yeah, thank you. A little retro vibe today. Yeah. Um, and we were also just talking about your Twitter feed, which is on point all the time. Thanks. With all the memes that you always all do. All the memes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but speaking of which, I know food, as you were saying, yeah. it's usually about food. Usually. it's Food is a big part of my life, I'm realizing. Like, most of my tweets are about food. Well, your last tweet, we actually were creeping on your Twitter today. Okay. And you said that Lunchables should not only be for kids, yeah, but they should also be for adults. Yeah, I mean, literally, I, I tweeted that from my bathtub as I was eating <laughs> Lunchables <laughs> in my tub. You were eating Lunchables in your bathtub? Yeah, I ate Fruity Pebbles in my tub. Like, why the hell not, you know? <laughs> That's like actually the funniest thing I might have ever. <laughs> I'm just trying to picture that. Well, we we brought you around too. I see this. Of this Lunchables. Is, guys, I had a Lunchable today already this morning. This is my favorite kind. All day, every day. This I one. Mean, oh my gosh. Let's make one. You want to? Yeah, we are. Okay, can I just make a confession though? Please. You've never had a Lunchable? I've never had a Lunchable. Well, today's the day. Make a little, oh make a little Wait, sandwich. so how many combinations are there? Do this you know is, every combination? No, because I only like this one. You only like this one? Okay, because mm -hmm. of the Oreos? Or because? No, I don't even <laughs> like the Oreos. I don't need the Oreos. So what is this? Is this turkey and crackers mm -hmm. and cheese? All right. Oh, well, I'm gonna... Some of them even I'm come a with a juice box. I'm skeptical about this. I'm not sure, but you're into it. I mean, I, I trust you. If I'm you immune think it's to whatever it is. Like I've <laughs> grown up eating this. I have the the diet of a um, kindergartner <laughs> is the best way to put it. Um, Madeline, who plays Cheryl in Riverdale, she is a vegan. And I'm basically the opposite of a vegan. Because you, we you guys live together. Yeah, we were roommates. Awesome. It was very opposite. <laughs> like, mine was very like Wait, artificial. Wait, you had your own cupboards? Like yeah, with your we had, name like, on it? No, but like okay. mine was like the top shelf. Hers was the bottom. Hers was like greens and all these vegetables. And mine was like artificial, like, you know, cereals, Captain Crunch. And you had like Reese cups in there. Um, but speaking of Riverdale, it's iconic because you're, you're reinventing Archie Comics, which has been around since like, what, 1940, 41. I think? Mm -hmm. Wow, 1941. Yeah. And what's crazy to me is that you can still go to a grocery store and I think you yeah. can still get the comics, which yeah. I actually didn't even realize. They're still there in the They're checkout line. Well, and you play Betty. Lo and behold. Betty, Betty, I mean, the most, well, again, besides Archie, like the most iconic character. Yeah. Um, what do you, like, how is your character in the show? Because I know it's, it is different from, like... Quite different. Very different from yeah. the originals, but you're kind of bringing... Because, like, she was, like, this perfect, you know, girl next door She was, image. like, yeah, but she was also... She let Archie kind of walk all over her, and, um, you know... She was one, in love with him. Right, she was head over heels in love uh, with Archie, and she was willing to kind of be at his beck and call, and that's very much not how it is in our show, which is good, and, you know for a modern show about modern women, it was important to us that both Betty and Veronica weren't fighting over this guy all the time and that wasn't their main priority. You know, that's not our show. There are, there are hints of the love triangle, but it's definitely not our focus. Our focus is more, more so on the friendship between Betty and Veronica and yeah. And a lot, that, there's already like a lot of shipping going on. I've seen like a lot of people like ship you two together. So what is it like, Veronica? Yeah, Veronica. <laughs> Veronica. People love it. Veronica, which is great. You know, like they're <laughs> Betty and Veronica are a very powerful female duo, and that's wonderful. So I say, if you want to ship Veronica, go for it. So, but do you have a Veronica in, in your life? Like, did you ever have like that that one friend that you were like? Or yeah, like soulmates. Yes, friends. I do have a soulmate best friend. Her name's Austin. Um, oh. Yeah, we grew up in uh, Cleveland together. Shout out to Austin. Shout out to Austin. <laughs> um, who do you relate more to in real life, Betty, Betty. or Veronica? Betty. Definitely okay. Betty. I've always, always been a Betty. Always been a Betty. Yeah. There's a little bit of a dark side to her, though, in the yeah. show. You have a mom who's like very overprotective mm -hmm. and trying to like be making you perfect, but right. then you kind of like 
start rebelling a little bit against yeah, it. Yeah, it's pretty relatable in real It is, in real and I mean, she's a high school student, you know, she's dealing with having a crush on her best friend who doesn't see her that way, and dealing with a lot of family issues, um, like her, her older sister, she doesn't know what happened to her older sister, and her, she thinks her parents are lying to her, and, but yeah, I mean, there's definitely a dark side to Betty, and I think there's a dark side to everyone, so. That's, that is true. There are a lot of secrets that go on, like, with all the characters in the town. Riverdale is full of secrets, yeah. You can't, you can't trust anyone in Riverdale, sadly. Okay. Yeah. Well, I have to tell you, so we had Cole here, mm -hmm. and we've had KJ. Yes. Um, who play Archie and Jughead. So we asked them a couple questions. Okay. That, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you first and you'll give okay. me your answer and then mm -hmm. you have to guess on what their answer was. Okay. Okay, so first question is, person who's likely to off an enemy? Um, <laughs> Ashley. Ooh, Ashley. Okay. Yeah, she's fierce. Okay, so we're gonna look over here. Oh God. <laughs> so what did they say? The most likely to off an enemy. Oh, Veronica. Like Camilla? Oh yeah. Or, okay, oh. so we're using. Yeah. Oh no, we're oh, yeah, going yeah. real no, here. Yeah. Then yeah, still yeah, yeah. Camilla. Yeah. Yeah. Still. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Cole. Yeah. Oh. What do you know Sorry, about man. Cole that we don't know? I reckon. <laughs> okay. You don't want to miss. Okay. Trust me, you do not want to miss with Cole. No. <laughs> okay. All different answers. Okay. Wow. Okay. Right. I see that. Um, okay. So the second question is, who do you think is the person that you'd most like to be stuck on a desert island with? You know what? I would say KJ because he. Uh, I mean, he's from New Zealand. I've seen him like climb trees and do crazy <laughs> things, and I'm sure he would be good in a survival situation. Yes. So KJ for sure. Person you'd most like to be stuck on a desert island with? Um, Luke Perry for sure. Yeah. Yeah. He knows stuff. Yeah, he's like, he's like he's got that sort of camping background. The, yeah. I feel like he. You two camping is like a dream come yeah. true. Mm -hmm. I feel like he would be the one to scale the coconut tree and then just like knock the coconuts off. Completely. Yeah. yeah. I'd love to say Cole, but <laughs> <laughs> Luke Perry. Oh, okay. Yeah. I Plays your dad on the show. He could survive anywhere. That guy. He knows. Yeah. He knows everything. Right. I swear to you, he knows everything. Oh. Oh wow. Oh okay. my gosh. Both for Luke. Um, okay. Person most likely to get stuck on a desert island, and why? Um, the first person <laughs> that popped into my head was Camila. Um, I just like imagined her going on like a cruise, and the cruise ship went down, and she's on an island. Oh my god. I just feel like that would happen to Cammy. Poor my sweet. Poor little sweet Cammy. Yes. Person most likely to get stuck on a desert island. Camilla. You'll be driving with her and she just kind of isn't the best kind of drive. <laughs> Gets lost. No, please continue. <laughs> just kind of. I love all this. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I, I think. No, she's not a bad driver. That was that was mean. But like, I don't know. That was the first person that came to mind. Okay. A Lily. Oh, um, I, I feel like she just stumbles, she stumbles into situations where she's like, I'm not equipped for this. Um, so, uh, yeah, definitely. Wow. Um, okay, and then last question is, who is the most likely to have the most secrets? <laughs> oh gosh. Um, Machen, who oh. plays my mom. And that's not a bad thing. I think she's just, she's, she's done and seen a lot of things. Yeah. Interesting. We'll just keep it at that. Okay, okay. Most likely to have the most secrets, because Riverdale is full of secrets. I would say KJ. Yeah. You know, it's just such an honest exterior. I am immediately distrusting of people with such an honest exterior. <laughs> and who has so many shirtless pictures of themselves yeah, out exactly. there on You're the like, internet. Yeah, exactly. You're like, why are you crushing two Red Bulls in this Twitter yeah, photo? That's... I got Cole for that. Yeah. I reckon he's got heaps of secrets. Yeah. Yeah. And that jug had. Uh, a knit beanie yeah, I that we have right here. I yeah. <laughs> this is cool like, a lot. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming. Yeah, and don't forget to check out Riverdale on CW.